I wasn't always a strong student, um, especially going back to, to high school. I had to develop kind of my own niche in terms of what study practices worked well for me. And so once I, I you know, I developed, you know, kind of a, um, study habits that, that worked well with my, you know, my habit, my sleeping habits, you know, things that I was involved in, uh, I developed a normal routine and uh, was, you know, was a dean's list student um, for most of the time that I was an undergrad and then, you know, obviously went on to grad school and, and did, did fairly well in grad school as well. Biggest shock was just starting over. You know, I was I was you know very popular in high school because of athletics and 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 those type of things, the extracurricular activities that I was involved in. But um, you know, so going into going from 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 high school to a, a college campus about seventeen thousand was a, a was a huge transition for me in terms of size and and kind of being um, um, just in this large large pond and then trying to find my way, find my niche. You know, the, the first weekend on campus, just walking around, um, there was an outdoor basketball court. I went out to the outdoor basketball court, basketball court and there were uh, some young men like myself just shooting around and, and playing pickup games. It was like three on three and, and just, you know, getting in those games and, and uh, just um, extending my hands. Study, study. Um, I just, I'll, I'll lay it out there. My, my secret to my success was, you know, when I go back to that, when I mentioned that, that niche that I developed, my niche was Sunday through Thursday. And that meant that Sunday through Thursday, I was studying. So I took Friday and Saturday off. So I, I had a good time on Friday and Saturday. Went out with my friends, um, you know, went to the, to the parties that, you know, on campus as well as off campus, you know. Um, so I enjoyed my college experience socially. With the, with the vast majority of students that I work with, and that's the task I, I think uh, we have as educators, at least that's the way I look at it, is to try to get students to think outside the box critically, to try to get them to think, say, listen, you know, uh, because sometimes no one's checking them, no one's telling them that, listen, you, you know, you're just watching music videos, you know, um, you know on, on YouTube, uh, catching on the latest music video or the, uh, the latest television program on Netflix or what have you. Um, you're really underutilizing the, the internet. You're underutilizing a lot of growth that you can gain um, by way of tapping into to this technological, you know, uh, resource. Mainstay course that I teach every single year, every single year, is 498, AASP 498E. And AASP 498E is a hip hop and social issues course. So I basically use hip hop as a point of departure to teach history, um, range of history, um, Native American history, uh, African American history, um, history of the African diaspora, social issues. And there's, there, believe it or not, there are songs not just out now, but obviously out when I was growing up, but even out now, but they're just suppressed by corporate media that are out right now that cover all of these issues. So it's quite easy. So exposing these, these um, young people to the, to, um, this music and just use it as a point of departure. I think Trayvon Martin's the only one. There have been dozens of unarmed black men and black women when we look at Rakia Boy in, um, in, um, in Chicago that have been killed on... Uh, many students out there that, that uh, whose interest is, is peaked, uh, especially if you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for um, you know academic social guidance, what have you, uh, if you're looking for a place to, to meet um, other students and to, to uh, um, be a part of fellowship with, with uh, students that you might not regularly meet because of uh, the differences in majors or so forth, come into the Nibiru Culture Center. Um, our doors are always open, so just come in. And our doors are not open, but it's a rarity our doors are not open. Just knock.